That was a look at the hit Broadway show, MJ the Musical, about Michael Jackson. And now a young performer from Las Vegas landed a role in the show as young Michael. He got a start at the local program known as Broadway in the Hood. We've told you about them several times. And we're so excited to talk to him live from New York, Austin Rankin. Good morning, Austin. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good to see you. Congratulations on your Broadway debut. How are things going? It's going great so far. Oh, I know. I'm so excited for you. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about Broadway in the Hood because that's where I met you, you know, when you were playing Timon several years ago. So how did Broadway in the Hood get you ready for MJ the Musical? Broadway in the Hood really prepared me to get ready for the stage because Broadway in the Hood, it really helps with more of teaching like movements that you need to learn mm -hmm. for like certain choreography. Mm -hmm. And it also helps with a lot of discipline. So you really know how to act sometimes. Yes. So that also really helps. No, and I can imagine. I love that. And I was talking to Mr. Tori, um, who is the CEO and founder of Broadway in the Hood. And he was telling me that other people, it took them like a few months to get things together, but it didn't, it took you just a month. That yeah. is so impressive. That is, and I'm not surprised because he is so talented. So how are, how, how have you been pre uh, preparing for this? Like, what have you guys been doing to get ready for the show? So pretty much just for preparation, mm -hmm. all I really did was just look at Michael Jackson's movements mm -hmm. and see how he performs. And so I could put that more into my performance mm -hmm. and it really helps a lot. I can imagine. Were you a Michael Jackson fan before you got this role? Yes, I was. <laughs> so what does it mean to be able to play like the young version of him? It's so cool because I'm um, carrying on his legacy and it's just an honor to be in the show. Mm -hmm. Just to be playing the king of pop, Michael mm -hmm. Jackson. Absolutely. What's your favorite part of the show so far? I don't have a favorite part. All of them are so good. <laughs> the whole thing is so good. So when do you actually get to start performing in front of people? Like, when does that actually start officially? Well, I already had my Broadway debut. Oh, so you now, did? Yes. Okay. How'd that go, being in front of those big crowds for the first time? It was so cool. The crowd is just amazing. Mm-hmm. I can imagine. That is so exciting. Okay, so now you're playing young Michael, but I know that you have dreams to, you know, go to the next step. So what's what's next for Austin? Next, I would like to stay in MJ and I want to play all the different Michaels in the show. Mm. What are the different Michaels for people that aren't familiar? So there's little Michael, mm -hmm. which I'm going to be playing. And then when he grows up to like the off the wall kind of era, that's middle Michael. Mm -hmm. Then it goes up to the older Michael, like when he starts doing more tours. Mm. So you want to play all three Michaels. Has anyone ever done that before as far as you know? Not yet. Okay. Well, I fully believe that you can be the one to get that done. Awesome. Where can people find you and follow along on your journey? People can find me on my Instagram and follow me on the journey. Also, I have a CD out that people can go purchase. It's on the broadwayinthehood.org. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the CD is $12. And you can go get it now. Okay. Austin, we are so, so proud of you. I feel like you're proud big cousin. I'm so excited to see the great places that you go. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us. Of course. Of course. Thanks, friend.